everybody, it's Sam of Eat Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. I'm going to be showing you how to make this cute gift bag, which looks pretty straightforward and it, it is to make, but it's got a few differences. So there's no score lines, there's only a score line along the bottom here, and then when you go up here, there's no score lines around any of this, it's all curved. So this piece is curved over in the middle, and this is all curved over at the top, and then I've put some little um, metal eyelets there, and then I've folded over this bit here so it's got quite a different closure so there are quite a few differences to it when you look at it straight on like that it does look quite standard but actually it is quite different um, I don't know what I'm going to call it <laughs> you'll soon see because it'll be in the title but at the point of doing the tutorial I don't know what I'm going to call it um, I haven't I'm holding it at the bottom so I haven't sealed the bottom because a lot of you know that I like to keep my things flat packed for whenever I need them, it allows me to store them. So once I undo the ribbon, that will all fold flat. So if you do want to, you can do that. Um, and it's just really, really cute. So I've just put good times on this one. It could be, you know, just given as just a nice gift or it can be turned into a birthday. Um, it's up to you. So I'm using the Beach Life collection. So this is the other pattern. Um, it's really cute with all these little critters on the um, on their little uh, deck chairs. So I've done my little topper here which I've made. I've just die cut some squares and put them on foam. I've used the matching Beach Life stickers here and um, the paper pack I have used now on a few um, bits and pieces. It's here. It's really fun, really colourful. Um, and it's perfect for birthday themed as well because you've got things like the bunting, the polka dots, the stripes, the other polka dots here and you know even the lollipops and stuff so it's not just holiday beach kind of themed there are obviously the buckets and spades and stuff but you can easily use this for other bits as well and this is by first edition. So you need one piece of 12 by 12 for this one and first of all if your paper is directional this is the bottom Okay, well I'm going to score the base now, so you want to make sure that it's facing the right way. Okay, so I've got mine all facing in the correct orientation there. So this is, like I said, we're scoring the base here, so you want to score it two inches. Okay, and then go all the way along to the end, and from ten inches you would then want to score it every half. So ten inches, ten and a half, eleven, and eleven and a half. And that's going to give us our top part of our bag. Then rotate it and we're going to then score at two inches then at five and seven eighths of an inch then at, I'm just following my other score line, seven and uh, seven eighths of an inch and then our last one is at eleven and three quarters so you should have a very small quarter inch um, tab here on the right hand side okay then flip it over okay and rotate it so you've got those half inch score lines that we scored and our base two inch score line pop it back in and just grab a ruler and from the seven inch mark you just want to get a pencil and just do a pencil line at seven inches and just use your ruler as your guide there okay so just a pencil mark on the back there and you can always rub it out afterwards if you need to okay so that's all of the scoring done so I'm just going to get rid of my scoreboard and now we need to burnish all of our score lines. So just go along and just carefully just burnish all those lines. Okay, and when you get to this end here, basically you just want to fold them all in. They're going to go over each other like so. Okay, you have to kind of squash them in at the end there, but just do them all and then just burnish it like so. Undo it again because we need to do some cutting, but that's how it is going to end up being. Okay, so first of all, if you grab your scissors, so you've got your quarter inch tab is now on the left hand side and those half inch score lines are all along the top there. The very bottom, you just want to cut up to the first score line, which is your base score line, and then just cut that out. Okay, then where that pencil mark is, you want to just Come from the top where those four score, line, score lines are and cut down. And what I'm doing is I'm cutting to the left of that score line, so I'm removing the bulkiness of the score line. And just down to that pencil mark, 
So the pencil mark is is a score line really. That's what we're we're kind of using it, imagining it that it would be. So now our tab is within that scored um, that pencil line and that base score line. If I do it that way. It makes more sense. That's our bottom. Okay, and then we've got these bits here. So you've got a large section. Okay, then you've got your two inch large and then two inch. Okay, so the two inch bits are our sides. Flip it right round and you're going to cut all the way down all of these score lines. Again, removing the score line itself. So here now I'm cutting to the right hand side of that score line, just down to the pencil mark. And then I'm coming down again now and cutting to the left hand side of that score line. So it's like a millimetre of paper that I'm removing. And it just gives your 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 uh, project a nicer look. So you can see there how much I've just taken out. It's just this little slither. So then I'm going along to the next piece again. I'm cutting over to the right hand side first of that score line. Like so. And then the left hand side. Like so. And then again, do that along that very last one. Okay, so if I just turn that back round, so this is the tab here, this is our base, and that's what you should have. And you can just see these tiny little strips that I've taken out. Again, don't worry if you don't. You don't have to do that. It's just little tips to just help your, your project look just that little bit more finished at the end. Now with the two pieces that I've got the that are the two inch width, okay, you want to remove all of those four score lines okay so just cut away the four the one the piece with the four score lines all right and again that one there like so okay next we can oh I didn't burnish my little tab there okay so now we want to cut along the base and again just kind of do the same thing just remove what I tend to do here is I'm cutting to the, the left of the score line here, but now I'm going to just take a little wedge out of the two inch piece because that is going to become our little kind of side tabs that we fold in anyway, so you don't really need to worry about cutting the score line out, you know, you know what I mean, you don't have to be so uh, precise this time because you're just removing more of a wedge than anything. Okay, so that is what you should now have. These two pieces here which have got our four score lines, two pieces here which are the two inch width, that pencil, your little tab on the left and then these four pieces here which are our base. So next what we want to do is stick down uh, actually let's stick the top of this down it doesn't really matter which way but let's do it this way so all you want to do is I'm just literally putting a little bead of glue you do not need a lot this is just decorative it's not actually you know uh, gonna have any kind of strain on it or anything like that um, I just thought it was a nice little extra thing so I'm just using my bone folder just to and you just fold each one over so it's all stuck down, like so. Ah. Okay. Next, we can add some tape. I'm just using this red, very uh, thin uh, quarter inch red tape. I'll get my words out in a minute. It's late evening for me here. I'm quite wide awake. It's not like terribly, terribly late, but my husband's working and I try not to do my videos when it is too late but actually it's a lot quieter because I do live smack bang in a very busy city and it can be quite loud at times so it is actually quite peaceful outside so maybe I should do more evening uh, tutorials. Okay so I've just popped my tape there, fold your tab in, fold it in half so you've got one, one part of the two inch and the, the larger bit and the larger bit and your two inch all right so it's completely in half and it should just perfectly line up 
so it's completely flat and that's how you will store it okay so next you want to stick down your base so there's the join that's where we just joined that bit so that will become the back okay when we pop, pop it into its 3d form that's now the back of our box so this will be the last one to stick down so I would say pop the larger one at the back down stick here and stick here stick them down and then glue here and stick that one down so if you're ready to make it and give it now then that's how you will put your base together obviously I'm not going to be doing that because I'm going to keep this flat packed so I'm going to keep it back open again anyway whilst we decorate and do a few other little bits and pieces so these two side bits here what you want to do is just grab a ruler and you want to come down what was that one there I think it was yeah it was one inch so you're going to come down one inch and again why do I keep putting my pencil away did I put it away yeah I think I did okay so you just want to mark so it's just on this piece here because that bit there it kind of blends in but it's just on this the little the side bits this is where we're marking okay so I'm just putting a little pencil mark at one inch okay and then where that mark is you just then want to cut in straight as you can halfway so it'll be another one inch so you come in one inch down okay so I'm just cutting one inch down and then one inch in okay then flip it over make sure this is going on the right side yeah so we just cut that one there just flip the whole thing over and do the same on this one here so again a little pencil mark at one inch and then just go in one inch okay and basically now if I pop this back into position you can slot these together like so see what I just did there so where the two slits are just slot it in and it will slide perfectly in together so pop in whatever it is and that will secure it all in there nicely then this is the top now so you just want to fold those two pieces out and what I would say is just get your bone folder and just fold them out so they now face out that way again make sure I've got the back although it still doesn't really matter at this point and then I've just got my hole punch here keep them flat again just for this bit actually kind of hold it all in place so they're both lined up front and back and then I'm just going to run this along the bottom of that half inch piece so where that score line is where they've been folded pop it in as far as you can is an inch in I think with these ones and then again on that side so I'm going through both sides here and there okay and then that's ready to thread your ribbon through now obviously um, I'm going to use my eyelets here because I found my very old pack and I'm using two, three, oh, slightly different colours those ones. Let's get more of a consistent colour here. There we go. So I've got four of them there and then I've got my pliers here and basically I'm just going to go over all of those and just it just finishes it a little bit more it really doesn't matter I make lots of things and I won't be doing this all the time but you kind of go through a bit of a it's kind of like my thing at the minute I'm just using it all the time but it's just another way to show you a way to finish your gift bags and also it does take the tension off the paper with your ribbon because I'm sure I know I have you've all done these things before and maybe ripped your rip your hole a bit where you've been tying your bow or you've pulled your ribbon too tight well this will stop that so and they're very very inexpensive and you've seen how quickly there that was to do and now if I just bring that up it just again just gives it something just makes it look that little bit more special um, okay so then I've got my little topper here so anything obviously you want to decorate I'm going to sit that one just in there so I've just mounted mine all on with foam Okay, and then just pop that one. So let's do it in between the yellow 
sand there, which is nice and even, like so. And then I have got my ribbon here, so I'm just going to thread it through and then just tie it in your best bow. There you have it. So they're kind of like a paper bag, sandwich bag. I don't know. I don't know. I need to think about that. But again, the bases aren't stuck down, but I think they're really cute really quick as well. So I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to see more. Thanks for watching. Bye.